What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video. Today we're going to be continuing on with our Elite Dangerous Guide to Everything series where we talk about everything from basic to advanced ideas with Elite Dangerous. If you guys want to see more, you can always check out the link in the description. Also, if you're looking for a written version of this guide, check out the link in the description for our website where we go through more of a written version of this. So definitely check that out if you're interested. Now today we're going to be talking about upgrading your ship from the basic Sidewinder to your next ship and kind of give you an idea of what ships do what and hopefully give you an idea of where you can start with your first ship upgrade so <clears throat> stay with me with this one uh, this is kind of a mixed thing uh, and I'm gonna try to go through this as simply as possible now do realize this is not an advanced guide so I'm not saying like you know use this ship for specifically this type of combat I'm saying your second ship is should be this kind of ship generally so let's go ahead and start with first thing you need to go to a starport or a place in the game some kind of like docking place uh, where they have ship upgrades so check out your galaxy map and your system map which we talked about earlier in other guides and go to one of these stations now it just so happens I'm already at one I'm at the Walker orbital which does have a shipyard where you can go ahead and purchase new ships so let's go ahead and go to the starport services and uh, navigate to the shipyard where we can go ahead and look at purchasing other ships all right, so here you can see they have 10 ships. Now, do realize a few things first. So, in the beginning of the game, you're probably not going to have very many credits. Now, you can see right now I have about a half a million credits. That's all based off a guide I made about how to earn credits while still having fun. It took me probably about two hours, maybe three. Nah, probably not three. Probably about two hours to get that many credits. If you're curious about this guide, check out the link in the description. I'll have a link for my making money guide for beginners because it's relatively I guess beginner ish you're gonna make about 2,000 or 200,000 credits I mean per hour and it's all based on being a bounty hunter basically so uh, with that in mind definitely going to be looking to get some more credits but before you have credits you're going to need to get a new ship or you're likely going to get your second ship before you have very many credits so like you can see here i actually only have two ships i have my original sidewinder and the ship i purchased as an upgrade to that so as far as like your first ship goes you have some options so you can go ahead and get like a hauler type ship and work on mining as you're like oh the next thing i want to do uh, you can see a hauler costs you about fifty-two thousand credits um it's a little expensive or it's i guess a little expensive if you're just doing like bulletin missions but if you've done a few bounties you might have gotten lucky and ran into 25 or 30 thousand credits um and then you know maybe a hauler is good for you but do you realize a hauler is kind of what the description says it's you know it's meant to carry large cargo capacity um for a relatively cheap price low running costs and have been made for you know most popular uh small cargo ships and uh in space um an important thing to do here is notice like top speed stuff like that doesn't really matter um, maneuverability doesn't matter because this is a cargo ship um, but do realize the modules and like the internals of this thing uh, the big thing is going to be your uh, cargo racks so like cargo racks are huge you can always upgrade these but realize your internal components cargo racks is going to be your main focus rather than weapons so like having hard points as two utility mounts and one small mount who cares because if you get in a dogfight you're going to lose in a hauler that's not the goal of a hauler um, but anyway, this is like a good second ship if you are looking to go into mining. If you're looking to go into combat, probably not so good for you. Um, your next best bet, or like I think your main best bet, is going to be an eagle. This is what I currently have, and this is what I got as my second ship. Some people say skip the eagle, the eagle and go for like a viper or uh, other ship, which I'll show you now if I can find one. I don't know if this, this starport will have one, but... Uh, an adder. Here's another, I think more of like a cargo-focused ship. The utility vessel, I guess, is what it technically is. Um, a cobra. Some people say like, don't get a uh, an eagle. Wait to get a cobra or a viper. Uh, you can see a viper right here is a little more expensive. Um, but there is going to be some pros and cons to vipers. I think um, you're going to have a little bit of a better ship. I think probably with a viper, but it's going to take you a lot longer to get there. So if you're looking to get right into bounty hunting, bounty hunting's hard as hell on a sidewinder. So you might be better off going from a sidewinder to an eagle and then waiting. Like I have enough to get a viper, but I don't feel the need to get one because I love my eagle. So a viper, you're going to see like more combat focus. You're going to have more hard points, like you can see here: two utility, two small hard points, two medium hard points for six total mounting options whereas with an eagle you're only going to have i think it's three uh total which i could be wrong but let's find out yeah so with an eagle you have three small hard points like i was talking about and then one utility mount so you're going to have a little bit more uh, options as far as a viper goes let's see where that back where that was again uh, but once again notice the cost difference is about three times more expensive um 
but just realize you can see some of the basic stuff here so as far as a viper goes it's good um i personally am going to say go with an eagle i know that's kind of a mixed thing i think most people would probably say go with a viper um, but i've been really successful with my eagle so for 44,000 credits i think that's your next best upgrade ship personally 44,000 credits i don't think it's hard to get and it's a pretty good starting place because then you can go ahead and get bounties and quickly get you know half a million credits and then who cares buy a viper if you want but an eagle i think is a good second ship so once you've kind of you know decided you know you want to go with an eagle and focus on combat or a hauler and focus on transport um go ahead and get one of those ships it's really that simple um I think that's really it for this video though, like kind of going through your next ship. I hope that kind of clears up some of it for you. Uh, you really have two main options. I think you have a hauler and an eagle. If you want to focus more on mining and like transport, go with a hauler. If you want to focus more on bounties and hunting, go with an eagle. If you want to wait a long time and focus more so on combat, you might be able to go for a viper. Um, I think that's like your third best bet, maybe like your second best for combat, but realize that's a lot of credits to get if you have a Sidewinder, I think personally, uh, whereas you could just get an Eagle and then spend an hour doing bounties following my guide and then get a lot of credits and then get a Viper and it might be a little bit easier for you. So. That's really it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to know more about upgrading your ship once you get it, stay tuned. Click the next button for our next video, which is going to be upgrading your ship, which is going to be for an eagle specifically as far as combat goes. So it's going to say like what kind of weapons to get and things like that, and hopefully that'll help you out as well. So guys, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a thumbs up and a favorite, and of course, stay tuned for more Elite Dangerous videos. Thanks, guys. Till next time, peace, and here is the outro. Eyes in the sky, gazing far. Into the night, I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining through, it's true, baby left alive.